just had an inch of rain last night and we're just enjoying our cup of coffee on this awesome porch that Mark built in a day. I just made it out of some scrap wood that was laying around so it's nice to actually have something to sit on up above ground level. What we're working on today though is we're actually going to pivot back to the dome build which I know everybody's been asking about, everybody wants to see it. So we're getting into it today. Yeah, Kyle's about to come out this morning with his excavator and he's going to be digging our septic system holes and clearing a space out around the dome, which will be our courtyard. That's right. It does sound a little bit boring, but this is a <laughs> highly unusual septic system. It's going to be alternative, just like how we are. <laughs> Not normal, um, but we'd like to get into it and show you what it's going to be, how it's going to work and how we're going to utilize it. Yep. We got a little bit of prep work to do. Cheers, let's get the day started. <laughs> <laughs> definitely big enough. Okay. Maybe just like two more scoops out of there and I can level the bottom of it way right. pretty easily. Just get a ladder in.
Okay. I know, I just didn't know if he was gonna like claw it right there and I didn't want him to smash it. three holes dug for our wastewater system, let's get into how we will be utilizing them. We first leveled and tamped the bottom of each hole in preparation to drop three IBC totes we purchased locally. This first one is going to be used to store gray water from our laundry so we can recycle it and use it for gardening. The second tote is located outside of the dome near a bathroom drain. I measured twice here since the tote barely looked like it would fit in the hole. Thankfully, it was the perfect size. This tote will collect our shower water, which is gonna be recycled to help grow trees in the future courtyard area. hole and most complicated hole of them all will dispose of our kitchen sink water. Our septic plan called for 20 feet of infiltrators. We needed a little more room for the end pieces, so shout out to our neighbor Todd. Thanks for lending Mark the jackhammer. We got the infiltrators perfectly leveled and walked the sides to lock them in. 
since we couldn't use the tractor to drop the last tank in, we carried it over to the hole. We're using this one as a miniature septic tank. Kitchen sink water is considered black water in the state of Arizona, so it has to be processed through a septic system that is permitted and inspected. Before we bury all of this, we will be connecting all the drain tubes and scheduling an inspection. There are still a few other steps and details that we can't wait to reveal in our upcoming videos. All right, guys, let us know in the comments if you think this septic system is actually going to work. Or if any of you have ever used an IBC tote for something like this, we would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Hasta la vista, amigos. <laughs>